very good evening welcome to unify study so today we will do the cache mapping guys so i hope all of you are very much uh, excited to learn the cache mapping i can see here some student few students so no problem we will do it very good so here i can see rinki deepa lima and namrada narmada narmada all are waiting here so good evening all of you and cache mapping here today this topic is cache mapping as you know the one day one topic series i choose in this way because what if the topics are most important and from where 10 marks question can come if you are preparing for ugc net then definitely 10 marks question can come from here that is the comprehension type question on cache mapping and that's why i choose this topic for today right and if you are new to this channel then definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all the latest update and notification because here we are doing all the computer science important topic you can check the playlist of important topics of computer science and the rapid revision series then in that playlist must complete it before the exam must complete that two playlist in this channel that is important topic of computer science and the rapid revision series because they are if you complete this computer science series before your exam if you are covering ugc net if you are going for gate set any other competitive exam or even also if you are a college student then also it will be helpful to you so let's start the cache mapping here under cache mapping what we are going to do what are the types of question they are asking it is a one type of question where they will provide you that the address of the addresses something will be given after that they are asking you what will be the number of bit in tag what will be the number of bit means what will be the memory size what will be the number of lines in that way they are asking the question another question is like this way ki they will provide you the order some blocks some request are coming now how you, how you will take the request and how you will put it into the cache and this cache mapping is very much related to the hashing just before this class we did the concept of hashing and this is very much related to hashing here we will apply the hashing concept actually the data structure hashing concept is related to the cache mapping that's why we did the hashing concept and after that we came to this concept so here are three types of cache mapping actually one is direct cache mapping another is fully associative cache mapping and another is k way set associative cache mapping now you can see all question are looking like same here there are some order after that they are asking ki in which place it will be or what will be not present what will be hit ratio what will be the miss ratio now here only students are getting confused that how i will do it how to do that what is the difference between direct cache mapping what is this the indirect cache what is the uh, fully associative what is k way set or set associative so that's why it's required to learn that what is ex exactly cache mapping and must watch this till the end so that your concept will be clear and you will be able to solve all the question all types of question from the cache mapping and as i already told high chances there are 10 marks question can come from here that is the comprehension type question you everywhere means if it is ugc net also definitely comprehension type questions are coming and more than one to two question you can expect for any exam even also if you are college then also it is very important so let's start it so mapping from here only you can understand it is mapping why the mapping is required the mapping is required between the cache and the main memory because here is the cpu here is the cpu now cpu is one to mapped between what we are storing in cache some of the pages we are storing into the cache what are the frequently using frequently using blocks we want to store into the cache and in the main memory there are other blocks 
is present right now you know that the main memory size is always greater than the cache memory size right now the problem is that ki in the main memory there are lots of blocks can be there but at a time i cannot send all the blocks into the cache memory because cache memory size is smaller than the main memory and if it is maybe block number 0 can i send it to block uh, cache number 0 cache line number 0 maybe it is not possible now how i will do the mapping because if you will search for maybe block number 0 or block number 20 i want to search for block number 20 now how cpu will understand that block number 20 is in which line number in the cache how it will be stored into the cache it should be maintain some rules it should maintain some rules so that cpu can understand okay block number 20 maybe i can find out in this space otherwise how it will be able to find out that's why the mapping is required so cache mapping defines how a block from main memory is mapped to the cache memory in cache case of a cache miss when there is a cache miss it is not available now where it will be available into the main memory here so cache mapping is a technique by which contents in the main memory are brought into the cache memory here content i have to take into the cache memory now where to place where i will place the cache cache mapping will help you to place it those who already was the hashing i hope you can relate the concept with hashing now it will be exactly the concept of hashing here the main memory divided into a equal size of partition that is called block so main memory will be divided into equal size of partition that is called block now this concept is related to paging okay guys all the concept are related operating system paging this concept is related because here we are working on main memory and the cache memory when we will work on secondary memory and the main memory means from the secondary memory i want to store in main memory this concept will be come under paging okay this is the concept under paging how the paging will work so here now we are not discussing paging the next part we will discuss means next class i will discuss the paging now we are focusing between main memory and cache memory so here cache memory is also divided into same size remember that that all the partition will be of same size because i will take a total block from secondary memory to main memory and again from the main memory to cache memory that's why the size of the block in secondary memory main memory cache memory everything will be same this is very important it will be the same size but the number of lines or the number of frames it will be dependent on the total size right so if i am telling 2 byte is a size of the block so if my secondary memory have more size then i will get more number of lines main memory i will get more that much and cache memory also i will get that much and here we are calling in different name actually here it is called frames and here it is called lines so whatever we are dividing into cache that is called lines whatever we are dividing in main memory that is called frame and actually we will learn in the paging that whatever we are dividing here that is called actually pages you can do the mind mapping here total computer science will be totally related each and every subject is related and before the exam when you are learning with mind mapping then it will be very easy for you just like the my just how the computer is doing the mapping you have to also do the mapping so that you can fetch the data quickly in exam hall right so here you can see 
this is the concept here you can see the concept here i can see yes all of you are here this is the concept this is the secondary memory secondary memory is also divided into some part that is called pages these are coming to the main memory this is called blocks and here it is coming to the cache memory these are called lines and after that finally it is coming to the processor means cpu in the cpu there are the register cpu will work on the register okay so this is the total concept actually how cpu will will work now come to this what is the difference between direct fully associative and k associative exactly what is the difference see that direct direct means it is just exactly like the hashing that only one time how it will be in the direct cache we will do the module operation with the number of lines just like the hash table whatever the size of the table we will do the mod operation with the block number that is just like the key whatever key is coming we will do the mod operation with the number of lines available into the cache and where i will get the remainder that will be placed into that place nothing else it's just like that normal hashing got it so particular block of main memory particular line it have to be in the particular line and line number of the cache have to be in the particular block that it is easily it is the concept and in the direct cache how the physical address is divided physical address is divided into three part from here also question are coming tag line number block and offset this is the tag line number block and offset what is this block and offset means it is the size okay line number means how many lines will be there that is the line number tag is required because some extra information you have to store that's why the tag is required okay now directly i am coming to the question see that consider a machine with byte addressable main memory of 2 to the power 16 byte and block size of 8 byte assume that a directed a direct map cache consisting 32 lines with machine how many bits will be there in tag line word field format in the main memory addresses so just now i told you there are three part now try to understand with this three part how i can get it how many bits will be there answer everyone i am waiting for your answer everyone try to answer all of you i can see here uh, sharma ishita uh, then uh, shaima nivedita bevin hema lima namrada narmada and deepa rinki all of you are here answer me what will be the answer what will be the answer yes so here the concept is the line number whatever number of lines number of lines i will store the number of lines in the bit now it is same concept like 2 to the power n you have to convert the number of lines into 2 to the power n so here n bit will be required n bit will be required because using n bit i can represent 2 to the power n number of digit means like line number 0 to 7 how many bits will be required to represent 7 1 1 1 3 bit will be required if the line number is 0 to 15 last number is 15 how to represent 15 it will be 1 1 1 1 i need the 4 bit to represent it that is the 16 right 
and after that if i need to do that 31 0 to 31 how many bits will be required 1 1 1 1 1 this many bits will be required that is 5 bit will be required the concept is that just check it log value of the number of line how to find out the log value just the number of line it was 32 change it into 2 to the power 5 32 means 2 to the power 5 so what will be log 32 that is 5 so that's why in the number of line field here the structure was tag then line number then box size so it is your tag it is your line number and it is your block size so line number will be 5 bit definitely so here you can see 5 here you can see 5 this is cannot be the answer this is also cannot be the answer now after that you can see here the block size is 8 byte 8 byte to store the 8 byte how many bits will be required here 8 means 2 to the power 3 that's why it will be again 3 so that's why your answer will be here 3 and remaining is tag how to calculate the tag it was given that 2 to the power 16 byte is the main memory so total will be 16 that's why i will do here 16 minus 5 plus 3 that is 8 so your answer will come here in this way you will get here 8 5 and 3 got it clear i hope it is clear to everyone yes i hope this is clear to everyone how to clear how to do it this type of questions are very very important repetitively they are asking question from here now the next question of that answer first of all now in the direct cache mapping is it required any replacement algorithm there are no need of any replacement algorithm because main memory block can map only in a particular line whatever the remainder i will get i can get to a particular line and new incoming block always replace the existing block it is the rule no replacement algorithm will be required what will be just like that if 12 if the size is 10 it was in the line number 2 0 1 2 so here it was in the line number 2 now if next one is coming 22 again it is representing it again it is coming to 2 so i will replace this 12 with 22 if now 42 came i will replace this 42 again by 22 so there is not required any replacement algorithm because i i want that space only whoever is there i will replace them and i will come to that place this is the direct cache nothing else so here see the question this is a question consider a direct cache map a map with the eight cache block so eight cache blocks are there if memory block requests are this these are the request which of the following block will not be in the cache at the end of the sequence what will be not there and what will be the ratio for what will be the heat ratio and miss ratio all of you and it's a request to everyone guys those who are watching till now if you did not press the like button you can press if you think that yes class is going on fine you are learning something you can press little bit the like button if you don't like then you can press the dislike button also and if you think that it is useful for you then share this to all of your friend now only call your friend tell them to join the session so that i can also get some motivation and if you are watching recording then also you can share the link to your friend and after watching it you can put some comment okay i am waiting for your comment so that i can get some motivation okay i am putting my time i am investing my time there is some the value of the time right so do it do it guys
how it will work just do it here how many lines will be there there is 0 to 7 0 to 7 means I will do the mod operation with 8 just do the mod operation will 8 3 mod 8 what will be the operation then again 5 mod 8 where it will be again 2 mod 8 where it will be in this way you have to find out it right yes how to find out see this here I will find out in this way 3 mod 8 will come to 3 space 3 now 5 mod 8 where the 5 mod 8 is representing in the place 5 only so it is in the 5 2 mod 8 where it will be in the place 2 8 mod 8 where it will be in 0 0 mod 8 now again it is coming to 8 that's why I will replace 8 with 0 6 mod 8 is coming to 6 so it is coming to the position 6 6 now 3 mod 8 where it will come it will come to it is already heat it is already present though that's why it is a heat now here 9 mod 8 it is 1 so that's why 9 will come here 16 mod 8 again 0 I will replace with 16 now 20 mod 8 20 mod 8 is 4 so 20 will come here 17 mod 8 is 1 so here it is 19 now I will replace with 17 25 mod 8 so 25 mod 8 is 1 so that's why again I will replace the 17 with 25 then 18 mod 8 is 2 so 18 mod 8 means here 2 will be replaced with 18 30 mod 8 so here you will do get it the 6 so here 6 is there already no it was in this place 6 is there so I will replace with 30 and 24 mod 8 is coming to 0 so here again it will be replaced with 24 2 mod 8 will come to the position 2 so here it will be replaced with again 2 63 mod 8 so it is 7 so here it is in 7 and in so on in this way you have to continue right so now you will see that ultimately after doing this operation what are present 24 17 82 3 25 30 and 63 these are present which is not present according to the option you can see which is not present in that option 3 18 20 and 30 was there so you can see all are present actually but 18 is not present out of this you can find any 18 no 18 is not present and that's why your answer will be 18 got it yes okay Rijana thank you thanks for joining the session thank you so 18 will be the answer now how what is the heat ratio and what is the miss ratio here what will be the heat ratio heat ratio is number of heat total number of heat 1 2 3 what was already present that is number of heat is 3 heat ratio means total request is 20 so heat ratio is 2 by 3 by 20 miss ratio is 17 by 20 that's why miss ratio will be this I hope it is clear is it clear yes or no clear 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 it will be 21 guys here it will be that's why I count 21 and here it will be 18 by 21 because total number of request is 21 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 total is 21 okay so always count correctly so here it is not 20 it will be 21 3 by 21 and 18 by 21 clear I hope it is clear to everyone yes yes 
now it will be very easy for you the fully associative fully set associative what is the difference between the direct and fully that is only you have to remember what is the difference so difference is there a block of a main memory can be can be mapped to any line of the cache that is freely available so here we are not doing any mod operation no need to do any mod operation no mod operation is required whatever free for me i will go there this is this makes the fully associative mapping more flexible there is no mod operation in direct there was the mod operation here we will not do any mod operation that is the difference okay yes question mapping will type type will be given yes the mapping type is given here in the question definitely direct map cache definitely it will be given to you it is a direct map cache definitely it will be given okay so what is the difference try to remember map map your mind fully associative no mod operation directly wherever i am getting free place i will go there all the lines in the cache are freely available and now if there is anything means when it is fully occupied when all lines are occupied then what to do then there is no existing block then we have to go for replacement how to replace we will go for the replacement algorithm here in fully associative replacement algorithm are required like fcfs lru first come first serve means which one came first i will replace that which one uh, is not recently used lru means least recently used which one is not recently used that one we are going to replace so that is the difference between direct and fully associative it is super easy wherever i am getting free place just like that yesterday we did the linear probing one by one one by one where i am getting place i am placing there same thing wherever we are getting place i am placing there but linear probing also we did a hash operation here no need to do the hash operation no need to do the mod operation got it clear so here fully associative is divided into two part only that is block number and the block line no need any tag or anything not needed here so this is a question of fully associative you can see consider the fully associative cache with eight cache blocks 0 to 7 and if lru replacement policy used in the memory block 7 where it will be do it quickly which cache block will have the memory block 7 which cache block will have the memory block 7 do it quickly so i am those who want to do by yourself you can do one thing you can pause the video and you can try by yourself and after that you can check yes you are correct or not okay i am telling i am telling what what you have to do how to do and if you want to do by yourself pause the video so say here what to do just same way we will do here ki everyone first of all all the request how many uh, blocks are there there is total 8 blocks so 4 3 25 8 19 6 25 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 till this there is no problem right till this there is no problem right yes okay namrata i am coming ma'am i was commented in yesterday session can you reply for ma'am i need to know the sum is correct or not okay i will check it i will check it okay i will check and i put the answer also i show i uh, in the last video last check the last one 
so that in that uh, ending of the class i told you the answer also yes so here till this there is no problem i will place it after that when 16 is coming which one will be replaced 16 will be replaced by which one here i will place here and here is there any heat you can see this heat will be 8 will be heat here is there any other heat because this 8 will be come here how to do here this is in this way 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 4 3 25 8 19 6 25 8 is already there 25 is already there no need to take the 25 it is also hit 25 is also hit 8 is also hit right so that's why i will take now 16 here and here I will take 35, here I will take 45, right. So, till 45 there is no problem because this 2 was the heat, right. Till here there is no problem. Now after that when 22 came, which one will be replaced? It is using LRU, least recently used. Which one is not recently used? Oh, oh sorry sorry it was 0 to 7 sorry 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 it was 0 to 7 right yes that will be till 35 so when 45 will come which one will be replaced which one will be replaced yes yes it is 0 to 7 so now when 45 came when 45 came which one will be replaced my, yes yes i did the correction i am sorry for that i did the correction here it will be 0 to 7 yes yes 8 block will be not there here it will be 0 to 7 that we did i did the correction yes 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 i did the correction guys now where it will be which one will be replaced i have to check now which one is not recently used you can see definitely 4 is not recently used so i can replace the 4 with now 45 right that we did here 4 replace with 45 now 22 next one is 22 which one will be replaced now definitely 3 is not used so that's why i can replace the 3 right yes can i replace so same way we will replace here with 22 now next one is 8 now 8 it is a heat again no need to do it is a heat again now 3 3 will be replaced by whom 3 3 will 3 where 3 will come which one will be replaced now can i replace 25 can i replace 8 no 25 8 will be not replaced because here i use this 25 and 8 that's why we cannot replace this was also used now don't do mistake here here students are doing mistake with the fcfs it is not fcfs it is lru in the fcfs you will replace this 3 and 25 but here 825 you cannot replace because it is recently used you use this recently so which one i will replace now for the three i will replace 19 got it here i will replace 19 because this two is used again it was used again it was used again that's why i will replace 19 so here 19 is replaced by three now next one is 16 where it will be 16 is again heat it is there already 25 is also heat and 7 7 where 7 where 7 will come 3 is also heat definitely 3 is also heat 16 where it will come 7 
7 where it will come here here it will come 7 3 is not the heat guys 3 was replaced 3 is not the heat 3 was replaced by 22 that is not the heat namrada 3 was replaced by 22 it was replaced already by 22 here 3 is not the heat that's why 3 came here again 3 is not the heat see this 3 will be not the heat 3 not heat how 3 will be heat because 3 was replaced here right 3 was replaced by this 22 when 22 came we replaced this 3 here that's why 3 is not the heat check this check this one 3 will be not the heat 3 is heat clear 3 will be not the heat because when 22 came at that time I replaced the 3 right 22 was replaced 3 was replaced by 22 clear got it ok yes that is why 3 is not the heat so now how what is the total number of heat we got the total number of heat 5 you will see 5 is the number of heat and miss is 12 so 5 by 17 and 12 by 17 is it clear to everyone anyone have any doubt so again what it was if anyone have doubt you can see this what we did here that just repeat 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 till this it was coming till 35 there was no problem 4 3 25 8 19 6 16 35 till that it was not a problem after that when 45 came we replace by 4 was replaced then when 22 came it was replaced by 22 right that's why 3 is not the heat that's why now see now clear 3 was replaced by 22 that's why now 8 was the heat after that again when 3 came again who will be replaced 3 now this 3 will be replaced with 19 so that's why here the 19 was replaced by 3 right that's why here 19 was replaced by 3 and finally 1625 was the heat and finally when 7 came who will be replaced I will replace this 6 with the 7 now clear now it is clear so that's why it was replaced by 7 clear to everyone yes anyone have any doubt I hope no doubt so here number of heat was 5 and number of miss was 12 clear clear to everyone now the next one is k way set associative what is the difference now k way set associative here we are dividing the total into some set here the set is main here we will do the mod operation with the set of the cache not with the line number in the direct cache mapping we did it with the line number but here we will divide with a set number we will divide it with a set number that is a difference okay just we will divide in a set number now in every set if I am dividing into set in every set I can place multiple line number it will depend what is the meaning of this k the meaning of this k is cache line are the guard into the set which are the set contains k line number in each and every set there will be the k number of lines means if there are you can see if I am placing k equals to 2 means two way set associative mapping if I am telling it is a two way set associative mapping and total number of line total line is 6 so how many sets will be there 
there will be 6 by 2 total 3 sets. So that is why we will do the mod operation with mod 3. Whatever request will come, whatever key will come, that key you have to do the mod operation with 3. Here is the difference. I will do the mod operation with the set number not with the line number. The mod operation with set number not with the line number. Line number we was using with the direct cache mapping. Now we will do D in a set number. And in a set how many lines can be there? That is depending on the K. Clear? Is it clear? Is it clear to everyone? What will be the? Yes, I hope so. So now you can see here it is a very very important point. If the k equals to 1 then it is exactly direct cache mapping because in every set there are only one line that means see here I am writing k way set associative mapping okay the k means that what is the meaning of the k the meaning of the k is k number of lines can be there in one set or in each set you will divide total number of line into some set. If I am telling here total number of lines are 12 and it is a three way set associative mapping then how many sets will be there? 12 by 3, 4 sets will be there. Means I will divide it into 4 set 1, 2, 3 and 4 four sets. This is set 0, set 1, set 2 and set 3. And in each set there will be four line 1, 2, 3, 4. Again 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 3 not 4 sorry. Here it will be 3. 3 lines. In each set there will be 3 lines not 4 lines because it was 3 way. So, each set 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and again 1, 2, 3 and again 1, 2, 3. Got it? In each set there will be 3 line. So, total 4 sets and in each sets there will be 3 line. Means at a time, at a time in every set here at a time in every set you can put 3 block. At a time in every set you can put 3 block. That is the meaning. Got it now? Clear? So that is why when it is one way set associative mapping it is just like direct cache mapping. And when we are telling k equals to the total number of line then it is actually fully set associative mapping. These two lines are very very important. Try to understand these two line and it is very important two line. One line in every set means it is just like the direct cache. If I am telling that there are 12 lines to together, total 12 lines are there together and k value is also 12. So, means only set is only one, there is only one set and in this one set there are total 12 line. So, you can place anywhere. So, it will be work as a fully associative mapping. Got it? These two lines are very very important. This is the very important concept. Is it clear or not? I hope it is clear. Right. Now, 
next one is this is the structure here it will be the tag number set number instead of line number here we have to the set number and in every set there will be the here block and line offset we are in question set will be given or total number will be in question it will be given it is a k way set associative mapping from the k you have to understand in each set there will be k lines right and the total lines will be given from the total line now you have to calculate the set that is total divide by k in this way you can calculate the set then do the mod operation with the set that's easy right yes so here it is a question you can see four way set associative map a map and 16 cache blocks are there so tell me tell me if there is 16 cache block and it is a four way set associative map so how many set will be there number of set how many set will be there how many set will be there tell me it will be definitely 16 by 4 that is 4 sets will be there now just do the mod operation the keys you have to do the mod operation with 4 and this will be like here set 1 set 2 set 3 and set 4 this is 0 set 0 set 1 set 2 set 3 right and in every set 1 2 0 1 2 3 again every set there are this will be divided into four lines now when you are doing mod operation at a time you can put four blocks here just like that if i am doing 12 mod something so 12 mod 4 then i can put in 0 8 mod 4 i can put in 0 uh, then maybe 20 mod 4 I can put in 0 right and again 24 mod 4 I can put in 0 so these all 4 can be here after that when there is more than 4 already 4 are already blocked now now I will replace with the LRU replacement algorithm got it so here it is the answer you can see here you will divide the line number into some set this is the set 0 this is the set 1 this is set 2 and this is set 3 and you will do in this way here we will do the set operation and we will get the answer got it at a time we are placing into 4 after that when it is already blocked then we will apply the LRU operation okay so these are the types of question you can expect and this is the main difference between direct set associative and fully associative i hope you got it i hope it is clear to you and if it is clear to you then practice this type of question here is a practice question you can do it as a home task this is a practice question for you answer will be this one here also you can see it is the answer you can see here also it is a home task for you you can do it and it is actually a very good question if those who will watch the recording till the end and if you are not able to solve then let me know in the comment section yes ma'am I am not able to do it how to do it 10 times repeated this is a very good question if I see a good response, if I got lots of comment that ma'am I am not able to do it. If, if someone will tell me ma'am how the 10 times will be repeated, how to solve it. Then I will understand that okay. These students are watching till the end. Then I will think okay. Let me discuss this part also. Take care. Chalo. Bye everyone. Try to solve this question. This is a very good question. Try to solve it and tell me the answer. And if you are not getting, then let me know in the comment section. 
बाय बाय एवरीवन